Yo guys, Ancient Sword here. Welcome to another episode as Syracusei with the Dividet Imperamod for Total War Room 2. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and tick the bell. Alright guys, so yeah, we are gonna take Lemonum, so let's do it. Alright guys, I'll see you in the battlefield. Alrighty guys, so we're here and yeah, let's just get on with it And they should be around here somewhere They have decided to sally out from the settlement Which is actually smart Because they have cavalry they will do a little bit more damage than what they would normally. And we still haven't detected them. They should be all the way in the back. Oh, uh, there they are. Almost making contact. These archers don't give much damage. Pretty weak units. And I think they're. Yeah, they're gonna attack us. Alright. Let's bring these guys over here and these guys over here these guys we're gonna group them and these guys as, as well mm. all right They're losing a ton of units and not making a dent on us. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. Right, now we need to send these guys. And these guys will come over here, and these guys will attack over there. And... Let's attack over here. Bring these guys over here. 
and these guys over here and let's bring these ones come on alright let's attack over here Attack over there. Bring these guys forward. These guys as well. Let's bring these guys over here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Bring these guys right there. And these guys right over here. All right, let's bring our cavalry here. Let's bring these guys over here as well. Let's attack over here and over here and over here. Perfect, let's attack over there. They're not gonna do any damage because we, did, we didn't lose almost any men. watch this until they give up let's bring our cavalry let's attack with these guys over there and these guys over there let's watch that Actually, no. Bring these guys back. Let's attack over here. Oh, man. Hold on. We're gonna attack over there. Bring these guys over here as well. They're gonna give up for sure. These are just... These are great hoplites though. They're a little sturdy. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab these guys, send them all the way around, send these guys over here, and these guys will come right there. Alright, so they eventually gave up. Let's attack over there. And they're routing. Let's watch them route. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yep, we did it, guys. So, yeah, I'll see you in the campaign map. All right, guys, so we did it. Let's occupy. All right, so we have this back, and we can't move this uh, army. Man, did we lose these many men? Maybe towards the end, a few of them fell. I didn't notice, uh, but we, we lost very few men. In one turn, everybody's gonna be replenished. So, we're good. And I think that we have uh, enough troops over here to replenish. Em enough manpower. Yeah, we do. So, we're going to be fine. And next turn, we're going to take Bordigala. And we're making 16, almost 17k right now. Which is totally awesome. 
because that means that we might be able to hire another four armies uh, to tackle the Romans, and we will definitely need that. All right, we already did everything for this turn, I believe. Let's focus over here. And yeah, let's end the turn. So let me check something out. We're still losing way too many men. Maybe if we bring these guys over here. Oh, hold on. So we have 19k. So the first thing we should do is check over here to see how we're doing in terms of politics. Uh, Let's secure loyalty. Let's secure loyalty with everybody, because the more loyalty we have, the better. So when we have money, and it's really not that expensive, so. All right, so we're doing excellent with all of them, except for the noble families. Uh, we only need 1% more, so we might be on our way. Let's see if anybody leveled up. Nobody did. Let's continue moving these guys forward. They're taking the longest time to, to, uh, to travel. And we need them in Terraco, so they're going to go down here and all the way into Terraco. So we're going to send them over here. Oh man, totally forgot that that guy would move. But at least now we have them going in the correct direction. So that we do not make the mistake next turn of sending sending them through the mosses. Uh, and I don't think this guy will participate in a battle. No, he won't. So let's just continue the siege and yeah, hopefully next turn we're going to be able to get that. And we still have 15k basically or 14. So let's let's do some construction work. So yeah, let's continue with the media. So we're going to go over here with uh, a, sh a temple of Zeus, an Odeon. And some irrigation ditches. And more irrigation ditches. Perfect. Actually, no, we cannot go with the Temple of Ares. Yeah, this is good. All right, let's deploy everybody. And move everybody. So this one is going to go, well, we might send her... up here but we have the other one up there as well where's the other one Agnes yeah she's over here so we might need one of the spies yeah we're gonna send one of the spies to North Africa this one yeah this one so we're gonna send this one through here 
and because we're going to need to spy on North Africa as well because we're going to do some incursions over there and we want to deal with the Romans now so and this one is going to move right over here well we will want to be very quick uh, taking out the Romans we will need to blitzkrieg them and then we're gonna eventually meet their armies Just deploy everybody perfect all right and I believe we did everything we could this turn yeah, we still are at 66. Let me see. I think we have everything else, though. Yeah. Well, except for the money, but we're going to get the money next turn. So hopefully we will be we will be able to uh, convert this into our political system uh, from a politeia into an empire. Hopefully. So yeah. All right, guys. Let's end the turn. Uh, yeah, we might forbid to get more. Let's forbid because right now we want political uh, influence. And we still do not have it. Maybe next turn, guys. Maybe next turn. Alright, so let's see. Let's put this guy into position. And perfect. Oh man, this is good. This is actually good. Yeah, let's go with a balance stance. Perfect, because we need to take them out as soon as possible, not to lose any more time. And we have 17k. We might get some, hold on, we might get some uh, agents. Oh, we can't. We have all, we have all the ones that we can. Yeah. So, yeah. So what we're going to do is do some more construction. All right, we still can develop we develop this and we're going to I think we're doing pretty well over here. We can maybe go with a slaughterhouse. That will give us a lot of money. Not a lot, but a little money. Some money. Some more money, at least. Uh, and over here, we might want to go... Oh, man, hold on. We don't have the money. Over here, I'm sure we're going to go with an amphitheater on. Uh, yeah. And maybe next turn, we're going to be able to develop... Further develop... Uh, our nation as well as converting converting it from a politeia to an empire which is really what i'm looking forward to 
Yes, and this is gonna take like one turn. So all the money, all the money, all the um, the men that we lost, we're gonna recover in one turn, which is absolutely amazing. Send these guys through here. Because now we want to go to Tarako. While these guys are going to go for Arasalum and then for Bigantium. Alright, and our guys over here, we're going to recruit... Oh man, we have no money. Next turn. Next turn we'll take care of it. There's no navies around here, no pirates, so we should be good. Yeah. Can't wait. Oh, just let me check something out. Can we reach Terrace from here? Well, we can go to join a battle if we siege Terrace. But we might want to bring them closer. Right, let's check out our agents. So this one will go all the way to the other. Well, between one place and the other, between Dalminium and the other. And she'll be perfect over here. And this one will go into Italy, so it will go through here. I think it's closer if we go through here. So, yeah. And... Heraclea will go down over here. She's on her way to North Africa. Yeah. And yeah, I think we're done here. Let's just deploy these guys. This is doing wonderfully, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, let's end the turn. Alright, this is awesome. Ah, we didn't we didn't get and we actually Yeah, and right now we have this in the negative. So this was not good. <laughs> Maybe we should have went with the other one. With the other option. Oh well. We can't secure loyalty. And the thing is we don't we do not have positive loyalty so we might have to purge uh one of the one of the political parties but maybe we won't need to do that and let's send these guys straight away It would have been even better to attend the the banquet or whatever. I don't remember what the other option was. Uh, okay, so we're going to go over here. And we have like 20,000. So. Right, so this. 
can make can go for tax harvesting I thought I did that already and we're gonna go with a temple of Ares and a palestra and a farming town and then in Gallia we're gonna go with a ship right because it's always good to have something that combats banditry in the settlement so yeah yeah and we spent all our money but we're making a lot of money by now and we need to continue moving our forces oh hold on hold on yeah so we want to move this one a little bit more all right perfect and let's move our spies and we need to level up Demonax as well so this one it will stay over here and Agnes will continue moving to northern Italy and Heraclea will go over here let's deploy this guy level up this one mm, let's go with let's go with this this is very useful to have more cultural conversion and now maybe this can be a game changer because we're gonna level up an, uh, one of these guys and we cannot go for the last political animal uh, so um, uh, rank so we're gonna go for a ferocious warrior just to keep him balanced and yeah so let's I think we already did everything yeah we already did everything for this turn so yeah let's end it so this guy also leveled up which is great let's check out how we're doing over here yes all right the only thing we need now is to secure loyalty i think of the noble families and it's actually getting better and no no it's not it's still negative two i think it was either positive two or positive three not sure but it doesn't matter so what's gonna happen right now is that we're gonna go over here and Archistratus is going to be leveled up. And what this means... Oh man, he's already at the max level of this. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go into this as level 2. What is this? No, this is not good enough. And we're going to go for Unwavering Patriot. Yeah. Yeah.
Because right now we want to keep at it. We want to have more and more political influence. It's going to be extremely useful. So let's attack over here. We can't yet. Next turn, we're going to be able to. Alright, let's keep them over here. Next turn, we're going to take Erasalem. And they're already, like, recruiting an army over here. This is what I was afraid of. But there is nothing we can do. All right, let's send this guy right here. And let's send the other one right over there. Actually, we might send him ahead just to, to siege that as soon as possible. And then the other army will join. And we're going to go for constructions, yes. So we're going to go over here. So over here, it's always good to have this at level 3 as well. And over here, we're good. Over here, we're not so good. So we're going to go first with these. And then with these. Yeah. So yeah. Let's uh, move Cleopatra. No, actually, let's leave him, leave her there. Let's move Agnes, and she's gonna be fine over here. They already have an army over here. It could be a tougher army. These Principes are very, uh, like, what's the name of it? Outdated. Let's continue moving this one. Let's move her over here. And she, while she's moving, let's deploy these guys. I don't think anybody else went up in rank. No. Alright, so let's focus our attention over... Man, we also need a navy around here to take care of these guys. We might actually send this... Oh man, we still need to recruit. Uh, but we need to do those constructions first because we need more food. It's already going down, guys, as you can see. We were at 50 or something, now it's 39. It's just gonna go down from there. So we really need uh, to produce food. All right, so let's go over here, focus over here on this army. Hopefully it will not uh, be too powerful by the time we get there, so. All right, let's end the turn. Alright, so let's uh, let's go with Rally Horseman. So let's take this. I don't think we're even gonna have any losses if we move both armies, of course. Let's try it now. Yeah. And we're just gonna recover the troops. So yeah, let's let's go. these guys over here yep 
Yeah, let's take advantage of this. Let's just send this guy ahead. And we're gonna take Brigantium next turn as well. We need to, like, take care of these guys as soon as possible. And let me check something out. Right, so we have negative two over there. And I don't know how much how much longer we're gonna need to wait to secure loyalty again with the noble families, but maybe a couple of turns or something. So we just need to wait. That's all we can do. And let's continue moving these guys. All right, let's move this guy over here. And I don't think they're going to attack. And if they do, it's going to be dumb of them. So we're just going to send these guys over here. And maybe next turn we can... Actually, for sure, next turn we're going to be able to uh, siege this... Uh, this... Send him a bit. This uh, settlement. All right, so let's do some construction. But before we do that, let's recruit some Navy units over here. So let's recruit like one of these and two of these and we might go and recruit the rest of them yeah because it's not too much money and it's better that way we might forget uh, if we if we don't do it now so yeah let's go over here to Cleopatra, let's start moving these guys. So this one is good. Agnes is good over here as well. Heraclea can move. And she is going to move. She's going to move right over here. Hold on. She's going to move right here. Right over here. And she's going to go, hold on, right over here. All right, perfect. She's already in North Africa, which is really good. And... We're going to deploy everybody else. If we continue to develop our nation in terms of constructions, we're going to eventually make even more money. So as you remember, we were in the 15,000. Now we are in the, in the 19,000s. We could go all the way to 25,000 or something. And we need that because we're going to recruit a lot of armies, guys. A lot of armies so let's continue developing our nation so let's go into Narbonensis which is where we were I think no we were over here so let's construct this and we can still go with this but well this gives like a ton of public order but we don't need that as of now because it's really expensive better to go with this it's better to start developing Baetica as well so let's go let's see yeah we can go over here with an allied polis for sure yeah and let's continue next turn and maybe next turn we're gonna be able to convert this to um to an empire so yeah let's wait and see let's just end the turn for now Should we go with this? We might actually attack them while we're taking uh, Rome's possessions. So let's cancel this. We don't need uh, the Alliance of Rhodes. Alright, 
so Um, we have 20,000. Can we secure loyalty? We can't yet. Maybe next turn. I'm almost sure that next turn we're going to be able to do that. And over here, yeah, perfect. So we're going to siege this. And hopefully they will attack. So... It will be way easier to defeat them if they do. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and take this. We might. Uh, we're gonna lose some men though, probably. Now we're gonna be okay. Let's just go with an aggressive stance. Right, so. We have this now, and it's going to be very quick to replenish four turns, basically. Well, it's not too quick, but it's not too slow either. And let's keep these guys together. Actually, we're going to put... Yeah, we're going to uh, reorganize this, and we still cannot attack Brigantium. Still... Still one turn away. All right, so yeah, let's do construction work as of now. So we're gonna go with, so these are done. All right, so over here, we're gonna go with the Temple of Zeus, with a Temple of Ares with an Odeon, some more food, better troops, but we might go with these guys. Actually, we're gonna, we're not going to do this one first, we're gonna do this one. And over here, yeah, we might go with a harbor, because it gives a lot more money. Yeah, much better. So, yeah, maybe one turn from now, we're going to be able to convert this into an empire at last. Uh, but first we need to move. It's going to be only Ericlia. So we're going to send her right over here. She's almost at her destination. She's going to watch Lipke. So she's almost there. We're going to move her over here just in case. Run over here. So, and let's deploy all of these guys. Man, we're almost there. Can't wait. We need to really develop our nation, though. We're going to keep this army in here because we want it to replenish as soon as possible. Actually, these guys need replenishment a lot more, I think. So let's put this one outside. And this one inside. Yeah. And yeah. So let's just end the turn. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to go over here and check. Can new media be taxed? It's already taxed. Gallia, already. Narbonensis, already being taxed. Sicalia for sure it's being ta taxed. Maritania being taxed. Man, we're almost out of options. We can't tax Africa. So we might have to go for Baetica. Our, uh, no, this one's not taxed. I don't think there's one that's making more than this that we have complete control of. Oh, we have Aquitania. Yeah, we can go with Aquitania. So let's go over here and give it more tax rate. Yeah. And we're gonna do something.
Man, I want to get rid of these guys as well, but uh, our navy is all the way over here, you know. And we're still recruiting. And it's going to take forever. Well, it might be quick, though. Navies actually travel pretty, pretty fast and pretty far away, too. So, yeah, we might do that. So, yeah, let's end the turn. Good. All right, so gonna keep these guys over here, maybe. Yeah, we are, and we're gonna take this finally. That's just auto resolve. Let's go with protective stance. Occupy. Perfect. And this guy's gonna remain inside the city as well to recover. And yeah, we stop this rebellion basically. The civil war is over. We can move these guys outside of the settlement because we need some more stability. And yeah. We're going to check if we can. All right, so this is good. And we can secure loyalty. Perfect. Oh, man, but we have like negative 17 now. So, yeah, this is going to take a while. Let's secure loyalty with everybody. Maybe I should have not... Uh, Maybe I should have not conquered that before doing this because we would have already been a, uh, an empire by now. If I didn't know, because I didn't know that uh, by ending a civil war, uh, your political uh, opponents become less loyal. Uh, yeah, let's let's leave them here. And we need we just need to make sure that we get the most influence possible. But right now we're gonna go over here with trained swordsmen and another one of trained swordsmen. And this because it gives more tax rate. Yeah. And somebody else leveled up. Alright, so we're gonna go over here with this. Which is perfect. And we're gonna go with this one. Just to keep it balanced. And at least that way we, we continue uh, getting influence. Man, that was really dumb. If I knew that Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get there. Let's go with this. Even if it is like five turns from now. No. This is great.
Yeah, let's go with this. All right. Who is this guy? Is it Olympus? Oh man, did we just give these guys to Olympus? This was terrible. Terrible mistake. Um, Alright. Let's just continue developing our nation. So in Baetica we're gonna go with some Hoplite Barracks. And next turn we're gonna go with another one of irrigation ditches. And yeah. And we might put these guys outside. Yeah. Put these in. Even though it's pretty close, but Alright, now let's go over here to our agents. So this one's good, this one's good as well. Heraclea can move though. So let's send her right over here. All right, so they have a navy here. And I wish I would have not made the mistakes I did with uh, trying to convert this into an empire. Well, at least you guys know and I know as well that uh, we should like when you finish a civil war um loyalty just go plummets down which doesn't make any sense it should actually be the other way around uh but oh well there's nothing we can do now so yeah let's just uh focus over here and let's end the turn. Nope. All right, so this mission was successful. So we made a lot of money. So we're going to do some first we're going to do like a a dumb mistake that I did. So we're going to like give this guy cunning this guy can go with a skill for us, why not? And this guy can go, let's see. It's something that is really not useful, but it doesn't. <laughs> let's give him the spinster aunt. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. And let's do the following. Let's start moving this because we want to get rid of the, the Navy. And they're going to get there very quickly, I believe. And let's check how this is doing. So we have negative seven. Hopefully, uh, it, it will not go, go worse than that. And we have 25,000 to spend, which is great. So let's spend it. Uh, let's first, let's, uh, well, let's keep her over here and let's deploy everybody. We do not want to take too long to take out the Romans, but we also, it's also good for us if we take this, this, uh, this uh, moment to uh, develop our nation, you know, it's always good. 
you have the best of everything. So we still have 18,000. So let's go into Hispania. All right, so over here, well, let's get better weapons, why not, than armor. So let's let's do this. Uh, and hold on. We're going to go here with... We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're just gonna do this because we're gonna take a bossum. And over here, uh, we are going um, to build. Uh, what's the name of it? It's not. In, hold on. I think we have one over here. No, we don't. Hold on. Over here, maybe? Nope. Over here. No, I think it's only in the ones that have like four, like this one. Yep. We're gonna build a palestra. That's the name of it. A palace try so this is doing well though so we're gonna join these guys hold on so we're gonna put Nicostratus oh and we're hold on hold on we're gonna go over here we're gonna choose the best we can for him this is good so let's go with Greek Thespian and let's go yeah, let's go with Berber Horseman. Yeah, these this one can have this. And this guy already has everything, I think. Or maybe not. Yeah, he does. And this guy... Can go... Well, he can maybe go with some cunning. Because that's all we have. And this guy is good like this. This guy's perfect. Yeah. Maybe change this one though. This is much better, the orator. And Master of Horse. Let's go with Master of Horse. Because we have a lot of horsemen. So, yeah. And hold on. What am I doing? So, hold on. Yeah, we're gonna put Nicostratus. So we're gonna send this guy right over here. And this guy, who is this guy? Archistratus. I think these two go together. I think it's father and son. Yep, Nicostratus is the father of Archistratus. So, yeah, let's put them together. So these two go together. And this guy over here can, well, he's going to take one more turn to recover. So let's just keep him over there and then next turn we'll move him. And yeah. We still have 8,000 to spend though, so let's spend it. So, we were in Hispania. Yeah, we're not gonna go with this. But we, on Mauritania, we're gonna go with a Traveler's Lodge and a Trading Port for money. Yeah, we really need to convert this into an empire, though. Yeah, I, th I think we already did everything for this turn. Yep, these guys are in place. Yeah, it's all done. Did we move this guy? Yeah, we did. And we actually, we're going to move him even further than this. Because we do not want to forget. So let's move him right over here. Um, so yeah guys. I think that's it for this episode though. Uh, it already went for about uh, one hour I think. So yeah. That's it for now. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you appreciate this kind of content. Remember to unleash the ancient hosts. Ancient sword out.